yesterday. Come on, Toby. Come on. You like chicken. Yes, he has. It's only donuts, Ernest. You know how much he loves them. Mama, donut. Chew. Chew. Toby, Toby shh. Shh. Hurts, Mama. Hurts. Hurts. Toby, Toby, it's all right now, Toby. Shh. shh. Mama's going to take your temperature. Now. Hurts, Mama. Hurts. I was afraid of this. It's those donuts. Mary, if he doesn't need to see the picture anymore, he could have had another dozen donuts after we put him to bed. Or anything else for that matter. You know he will eat anything he can fit in his mouth. Oh, he's burning up. <laughs> Call that nice Dr. Keller. He'll come. I know he will. He doesn't make house calls anymore, Mary. No one makes house calls anymore. Oh, he'll have to. Tell him it's an emergency. And he'll tell me that's what emergency rooms are for. We've been through this before, Mary. Tell him! Just tell him! That's an Alium poultry farm. We'll be the judge of what's right and wrong for our son, Miss Scamp. Get the boys' things, Mary. We're, we're leaving. Wait a minute. You can't just walk out of here. Can't we? Some, some kind of a special teacher. Mary. Just a little help. Just for a few days, just a couple of hours. That's not wrong of me, is it? But, but for just, just a few hours. Maybe we could... We could go to dinner to a nice restaurant. Just the two of us. Or maybe we could go to a movie. How long has it been since we've seen a movie? I know you're tired. It would be nice to have someone share the burden, but we can't. We can't have these hours. Our son, our responsibility. If we leave him alone for just a few hours, there's no telling what sort of things he might see. Or what he might bring. Toby? Toby? Toby, what are you... Mm. Mm. Ah. 
Mr. Ross, this is not... to another episode of What I Learned from Bobby Hennett. Well, you know, I always want to share, I want to share the, um, I, I always want to share the sci-fi movies or TV show where I um, can share with you the occult meaning, the metaphysical meaning, um, and the spiritual meaning hidden in the story. Why is it hidden? It is hidden because you um, not necessarily you, if you're on the Bobby Hemet frequency, then you have some information, but uh, the world has been locked out of true knowledge of how this universe works, period. You, the world, does not know how the universe operates, and it does not know um, the people, about the people on this earth plane, and that there is one that is the indigenous, indigenous, original, cosmic divine being that is pure creation, and then there is one that is a fake creation, okay? And they don't have the cosmic seed, and their um, their nature is um, violent and warring, and egotistical and narcissistic and psychopathic. So I'm going to put a period on that. Now let me directly decode this amazing story. I just, I happen to just look at it again, you know, just look, I just wanted to look up some Twilight Zones again, and because I really like to watch them, even though I have watched, no, I'm not exaggerating, I've watched pretty much, I would say, 90% of any Twilight Zone Beyond Belief, Ghost Stories, um, some others that I can't remember. I have watched all episodes, except for maybe the black and white ones. Some of those are was a little bit too boring, and I, I, couldn't, I, I couldn't watch them. But all of the modern Twilight Zones I have watched. So... There is, um, there is, <laughs> man, this thing is amazing. You're, you, you are going to be, I just hope that someone new can get my point. Someone new can get this message. If you are on the Bobby Hemet frequency, 
I think I share a little bit of something new with you, or at least I reinforce something with you. Um, but let me just get to the point here. There is a there is an episode of Twilight Zone. It is called The Toys of Caliban. The Toys of Caliban. That is a cover up. That is a there's a hidden meaning. The truth of that title is that it is the truth is that the word Caliban C A L I B A N is really a cover up for the word Caballion, which is one of the holy texts that Jews revere and use, which of course is really um, a transliteration of Egyptian texts that tell you about the universe, magnetism, aka magic and alchemy. Magic is alchemy, alchemy is magic. Magic is magnetism, magnetism is magic. All of that is also energy, and if you know the elements of energy, then you can use it. If you know the symbolic or the symbology of objects and elements, then you can use them. That is how the universe works in the most simple terms. And the energies all transmute. That means they all work together and can create something new. It is the same, you know, baking a cake is alchemy. You take the ingredients of, some, of whatever you want in that cake. Or excuse me. You take the ingredients individually. You mix it up. It reacts. And it turns into something else completely of what you call a cake. But can you do all of that in reverse? Just, just think of it in reverse, and that is alchemy. You have elements, you mix them together, and it creates something else. So, let's put a period on that, and let's get to the story. This story is about a retarded boy. The retarded boy has two parents. The parents are seniors. Okay, so, you know, actually that's an interesting element to the story because they're seniors. They're not young people. So they had them when they were late, you know, um, you know, actually, I never thought about what age they had this kid, but apparently they had him. They had him when he, when um, the the female was much older, and maybe that could explain how the boy is deemed as retarded, or you know, is retarded in the story. So, the boy is retarded. I cannot say his age. It could be that he is 11 or 12, okay? So, in the story, the boy uses his imagination. When he sees a photo, he can manifest the photo. What does that mean? That means that if he sees a picture of, mo mostly they were showing him pictures of toys, harmless things. If he saw a picture of a toy, 
He can manifest the toy. He can bring the toy into reality and be a three-dimensional figure in front of him and not a picture. Okay, so that is the premise of the story. He's retarded, but he has a power to manifest objects from a picture. One day, he, does it, he manifests something without the picture. He doesn't need the picture anymore. That means his parents cannot control him because they try to control what he sees so he doesn't manifest something dangerous. Okay. He manifests something without a picture and then he starts doing it again. A little bit, he does it. He wanted some donuts and he uh, made himself sick eating the donuts. But his parents um, didn't know that he was, you know, they thought he forgot about it, okay? They, he, they can't stop him. He wanted some donuts. They went and got the picture. And before they showed him the picture, he already had the donuts in his hands. Okay, so he's manifesting by himself without a photo. They try to just forget about it, let him play, let him forget about it. They let him go to his room to play with his toys, and then he becomes very sick. Why? Because he was um, gorging out on the donuts in the room. He got very sick. He had a big stomach ache, and the mother just uh, had a nervous breakdown and said, please take him to the hospital. The hospital is a very dangerous place because he's being exposed to people and he might manifest something dangerous. They get him out of the hospital, but before that, um, um, some stupid um, counselor starts talking to them. Somebody from Children, Families, and Services, you know, the, the cops, the secondary cops of of, you know, America, K -K -uh. um, you know, pushed her way into their lives and said that she knows better and that he should be going to school and all this stuff. And they just told her to fuck off. <laughs> Basically, they told her to fuck off and they left. This lady tracked them down to the home and still she's, you know, full of her bullshit, thinking that she knows better. And uh, before that happened, the boy, oh shoot, I don't want to, I don't want to tell you what happened. I'll just show you the clip. I'm going to show you the clip that's, um, right now I'll insert the clip, okay? Something very serious happened, okay? All right, so. They end up having, um, the father has to tell the, um, the father in order to get this stupid bitch out of their house, the father has to show the lady, look, my son has a uh, magical power and he manifests things and it could be dangerous. She didn't believe it, even though he showed her. And then he gave her a book and said, you show him something. She showed him, I think, I forgot what she showed him, to be honest. And I just watched the, the show again. I can't remember what it was. Um, but anyway, she saw for her, herself that he could manifest things. And this stupid woman still said, oh, but, but he can be, um, he can help. He has a magical power, uh, you know. Uh, doctors can help him, they can investigate, they can learn about him and how he does this thing. And the father said, lady, get the fuck out of my house. You're going to turn my son into a fucking experiment and they're going to be drilling in his brain or something. And I'm just, um, I'm just re-summarizing that. He didn't say it like that, but he did tell her to get the fuck out. Now, the stupid woman, even though she saw for herself 
that he can manifest things out of his head. And she knows that it could be dangerous. And she saw the repercussions of it. She still, she went to the police. The father, um, the father could hear the cop cars coming. And he was like, well, time to do plan C. Plan C, okay? We got a DEFCON 5 situation. So we've got to do plan C. And I will insert what what happens because I kind of don't want to tell you everything, but I, I realize that only a very good listener will listen to... Um, listen to this audio and look at the um the the tv show i think most people will not look at the tv show even i probably wouldn't look at the tv show it's a lot of work to insert the tv show in 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 a video it's a lot of work like to to cut it up and explain it i i wanted to when I do the audios, I kind of don't want it. I tr on some of them, I didn't want to tell you directly the decoding. I want you to figure it out. So that takes a lot of work on my part still. Um, I will see about doing that. Yeah. I will see about doing that. And then in, in, in I guess in this... In this audio, you will hear the decoding. And I still haven't told you the decoding yet. So let me tell you the decoding. What does that story mean? First of all, that is one of almost, that is one of the most scary stories that somebody could watch. It is a very engaging, cliffhanging story that really just, has you on the edge of your seat, not understanding what the fuck is going on. You're thinking, this is some amazing, this is some amazing shit. This is an amazing story. You know, it, it has tragedy, you know. It has a grotesque aspect. It has an excellent actor, the, the young man or whatever, how old, however old he is, that plays Toby is really an excellent actor. They all are excellent actors. I mean, this story is really just captivating. And I, I need to look up syn other synonyms so that I can say something different besides captivating, riveting, and jaw-dropping. So... Anyway, I have to give applause to this story. And I, I just happened to decide to look at an old um, Twilight Zone again. That I saw, saw that story a long time ago. Um, and I knew the meaning of it then, but I just never made a video about it. Because I'm like thinking, eh, this is kind of hard to explain. People aren't going to get it. But you know what? I'm, I'm telling you it anyway. What is the occult meaning of this? The occult meaning has to do with the law of attraction. I will repeat that. The occult meaning has to do with, has everything to do with the law of attraction. And I encourage Any black person listening, please look up, research, understand, and get that information in your brain because that's how the universe is working. And that's how you can affect the universe. What you believe manifests in your life. Now they say there's shit in the fucking Bible, but people don't wanna don't wanna um, use it, believe it, apply it or anything. It talks about guarding your thoughts, you know. It says it in a different way. 
But the truth of the matter is that you manifest your thoughts. The environment around you is a manifestation of what you've been thinking for a long time. Um, so in a, in a positive way, in a positive way, you can make positive things happen if you think like that. Now, that is why the beast makes sure, makes sure that everyone in the world is fucking hating black people. And always, no matter what you do, they put you down. Because that, that thinking is going to be in your head about yourself. And you will never, you will never rise to your God self. You can never rise to your God self if somebody keeps thinking, keeps saying that you're a motherfucking slave. Even though, like, this is the thing. Think about this. Every, uh, no, I won't say every, but let's just look at the Bible as fucked up as it is. It does say Adam and Eve are the first people. And Adam is the son of Shem, I think. Or something like that. Or whatever. Anyway, they're supposed to be black, right? That's like not something that um, a beast pastor will, will remind the... Um, a beast pastor won't remind his um, congregation that the original people are black and Adam is black. They're going to remind... They're just going to talk about some other shit. But they're never, they're not, they don't remind people that black people are the original from the beginning. And if Adam created everything on this fucking planet, then the black person created everything on this planet. Now, holy books all over the world can acknowledge that Adam and Eve were black. Even Islam um, acknowledges that. But they don't give the people, the black people of today credit for that. They separate you like Adam and Eve don't, don't exist anymore. You are motherfucking Adam and you are motherfucking Eve. Still today in the flesh. You are the modern Adam and Eve. Your um, wonderful natural people on the motherland that are still in their tribal form. And there's some, there's some tribes that have been hardly touched by the beast, they are the Adams and Eves in a purer form because they still welcome that beast and they, they don't know that that's a beast. They don't know that that's a non-human person. They just, they, they just accept uh, a living being even though they've never seen that kind of living being, they accept um, another person as a living being, but they don't know the factual history of this beast that comes to visit them and take photos of them and exploit them and touch their boobs and, and show their nakedness, which is not anything bad. They are, they are completely, totally aligned with nature. Totally, completely. Okay, so let me put that down. Let me set that down for a minute. The point is that your mind can manifest things not, not instantly, not like, a, you know, not like, okay, I want a burger, here's a burger. But you will attract what you want and what you think about. Because that's one of the laws of the universe. That's why in the, the law of attraction is based on positivity. And a lot of people buck against that concept because they don't apply it in a balanced way. Nobody is saying... Oh, think about having a stack of a million dollars and that can happen. Nobody's telling you to do that. 
and it can't work like that because what you think has to be a true frequency in your subconscious mind. Your mind knows what what is true for you or not. You know, you, you know what you really believe or not. You can lie to other people. You can lie to other people, but you can't ever lie to yourself. You can only be quiet, right? You don't have some, you know, you, you might have a voice inside of you that's saying, yeah, you're full of shit. No, you don't believe that about yourself. But nobody else knows that voice. You can lie to other people, but you can't lie to yourself. You can't lie to the universe either. In that way, okay? In the way that I'm talking about to yourself. Because the beast is lying to the universe all the time. And it's working. But what I'm saying is to yourself. So on the mental level of how the law of attraction works. You have to actually believe it. If you think this law of attraction concept is bullshit. It ain't going to work for you. Period. And you can only manifest based on your level of belief based on your level of belief only now you don't know nobody's at the level of saying that I can produce a million dollars in my hands but you could you could believe in a five-year plan a 10-year plan and action steps where you make a goal to be a millionaire based on skills or whatever you have that you are going to create a business or whatever or ask ask a million people for a dollar you know i wish i could just ask a million people for a dollar you could be a millionaire right so anyway i think you get my point that tremendous sci-fi horror sci-fi is about the the truth of that is about being able to manifest things mentally that and that's a secret that's a secret that and and i want to tell you this again that is why the powers that be make sure that you are um the most rejected dejected, debased, degraded, disrespected person on the planet. Even though he knows you are the first original people that created everything and taught him how to speak. And all knowledge comes from you. He knows that. He's hiding that. And for the world, he always represents these fake people called the Greeks and that they are the civilizers of everything onward in modern society. So, I have spoken a lot on a very simple, very simple story, very simple concept. And I want to always give thanks to Bobby Hammett for the... For the knowledge that I have, for the occult knowledge that I have, for the occult secrets that I know, um, for the symbolism that I understand, for the ultimate secret about black people, knowing the ultimate secret about black people, knowing about their DNA, their melanin, pineal gland, what's going to happen when you die, that the ancestors are right above your, your head as the stars, and those are the chakra bodies, and they are not white, they are rainbow colored, and you can look that up on the net yourself, and um, I, I, Okay, we declare that whomever is listening to this audio right now will bloom 
into full consciousness and the power of God, of the Godhood that they are and that they start using the, the sword that is their words. And they end this matrix just by waking up, just by being conscious. And that is all.